I again, Westdale Wildcats. Uh, so today I'm gonna bring you some warm-up ideas that you can do easily from home. This is actually the first thing I turned to when we first learned that schools would be suspended, we'd be doing from home. And uh, I did it mostly because I have a personal Instagram account and through that account, I saw a lot of, um, you know, I follow a lot of fitness accounts myself and they were posting the, the live workouts and, and knowing that gyms would be shut down soon, they wanted to continue their programming. And so I thought, what a great way for me to uh, continue teaching my students and for them to see my face and hear my voice. And we can try doing the online classes like that. So it was mostly just a platform I was already familiar with and comfortable using. The students can relate to it, right? Like they know how to use Instagram too. I have your first activity of the week here for you today, and it's going to be plank tic-tac-toe. I think of my uh, own challenges I face trying to be active when I live in just a, like a small apartment. So I try to relate that to what my kids would probably be going or my students would be going through as well. And I just try to find ways that they can be active within their own homes as well. And uh, yeah, just kind of think of the best, best exercises or activities we can do in a small space and work from there. Most of our sports seasons have been canceled for the rest of the year. Uh, I'm trying to find different and unique ways to stay active too. And that's my goal for my students as well. I've surprisingly gotten a lot of parents following along with this account too, which I also think is great. Um, and I sometimes get parents sending me pictures of their kids like holding a yoga pose or something and that we did in a live workout or whatever. So yeah, it's nice to see that a lot of families are using it. Hey Wildcats, thought I'd try something a bit different or change the scene and go outside today for our video. I've got a flip a coin workout for you today. The main thing is the, is the sense of normalcy. You know, so students still know that, or that their their teachers are there for them. Um, so it could feel more like a regular classroom or as regular as we can make it feel. You know, I've had a few students reach out to me just once in a while after the live workouts and tell me that it feels like they're in a phys ed class when they do that. So that, that's really what I was going for. Um, so I'm glad to hear that. Yeah.